5 Ways to Have Effective in Your Eating at Home to Cure Kidney Disease 1. Measure Your Food Using measuring cups and spoons is another way to keep track of how much you are eating. If you don't have kitchen tools with you all the time, remember these comparisons to help you measure wherever you are. 1 cup equals the size of an adult's fist or a baseball. 3 ounces equals the size of the palm of your hand or a deck of cards. 1 teaspoon equals a tip of a thumb. 1 tablespoon equals the size of a poker chip. 1 half cup equals the size of a small fist or light bulb. 2. Use smaller plates, bowls or cups if you choose to eat a food limited in your diet. Give it a try to use smaller plates to trick your brain that you are eating a lot when you fill your plate. So, you can limit food in your diet but your body can feel it is enough. 3. Put limits on phosphorus and potassium laden foods. You should cut down milk, cheese, ice cream, chocolate, peas, peanut butter, dried beans to keep phosphorus and potassium levels at a minimum to help your kidney healthier. Besides, some fruits and vegetables can be high in potassium and sodas, whole grains can be high in phosphorus. Asking a nutritionist or dietitian how much phosphorus and potassium that you can intake to your body, then set up a diet meal suitable. 4. Savor each bite you don't need to rush when you eat your meal. Take time to eat more slowly to take in the flavors of the food and help the metabolism happens better. 5. Regulate fried foods and creamy dishes. Meals that are fried or creamy, such as potatoes, alfredo sauce and casseroles, can be high in phosphorus and sodium. If you're going to eat these foods, try to add more kidney-friendly foods to your plate, and only have a small fist-sized portion of the fried or creamy dish. If you like the video, like and subscribe to get more useful information. Thanks for watching.